Good morning, year one. It is week ten of your English class. Okay, let's first welcome you back. Welcome back, year one A and year one B. What day is it today? Does anyone know? It is Wednesday, and it is also. March, ninth March, twenty twenty two. Remember what day is it again today? It is Wednesday, and the date is ninth March, twenty twenty two. Got it? Okay. What you're going to need today is your pencil, rubber, or eraser. And your grammar book. Classroom objectives we're looking at today is to explore the topic "Where do you live?" And the second one is an introduction to what are verbs and how to use them in a sentence. Where do you live? When you think about where do you live, you have to think about the village, house, bedroom. For village here in Brunei, we call it kampongs. Like most of you would be from Kampong Lambat Kiri, correct? Next, for houses, we have a few different houses here in Brunei, which. I think you remember because we did learn this in Pra as well, but just in case, we're gonna go over it again in this lesson. And lastly, bedroom. Everyone would probably have a bedroom in their house, and the number one thing you find in your bedroom, you guessed it, it's a bed. Now moving on, the type. Of houses that you can find. Number one, bungalow. Number two, two-story house. Number three, flat. And number four, stilt house. So the bungalow only has one level, so there will be no stairs inside the bungalow. For two story, the house in Malay terms is ruma dua tinka, so there's two floors, and for the flat they have many many floors, so it is a building with, you guessed it, banya tinka. And lastly, the stilt house, which I think you have seen in Kampung Ayer, there are stilts. Under the house, but not just in Kampung Ayer. There are some concrete stilt houses as well. Now, what sentences can you make from the topic "Where do you live?" You can start with "Hello, my name is Amal. I live in a big two-story house in." Kampong Lambak Kiri. In my house, my bedroom is very big and beautiful. Okay, make sure you can read that too. Hello, my name is Amal. I live in a big two-story house in Kampong Lambak Kiri. In my house, my bedroom is very big and beautiful. Okay, if you manage to read that at least twice, then you know you're on a good track. So, what can you find in your bedroom? Of course, number one, your bed. Number two, lamp. Number three, wardrobe. The bed, of course, is where you sleep. 
the lamp to make sure there's light in the evening. And then your wardrobe to keep all your clothes. Next, you have your desk, chair, and bookshelf. So your desk and chair, of course, is for you to do all your work in, if you do do your work in the bedroom. And then the bookshelf is, of course, to keep all your books, your files, everything that you need for school. Okay, this is towards the second objective of today. We are learning about verbs. So, what is a verb? It is an action word, which means words that talk about what you're doing, like jump, swim, read. There are many, many different types of verbs, but I'm just going over the simple ones. So we have modal verb that uses the word can or can't. Hmm, let's see, do you recognize all the animals here? Who can say the animals? Yes, that's right. You can see dolphins, penguins, and a lion. So the first sentence here says, dolphins can swim. The second sentence says, penguins can't fly. And the third sentence says, lions can roar. So remember, modal verbs are using can or can't. Okay, so we're going to have like one worksheet for today for your grammar book. These are some simple verbs, just 15 sentences. You can print it out if you have a printer. Um, if you don't, then just write it down in your grammar exercise book and this is very very important after you finish this exercise i want you to read the sentences selepas kamu habiskan exercise ini cikgu juga mau kamu membaca dari nombor 1 sampai nombor 15 Read it from number one to number 15. I'll go through all of this right now in this YouTube video. Number one, you fly a kite. Number two, you drive a car. Number three, you cut with a knife. Number four, you wear your uniform. Number five, you read storybooks. Number six, you write with a pen. Number seven, you ring a bell. Number eight, you draw a picture. Number nine, you ride a horse. Number ten, you play games. Number eleven, you sing songs. Number 12, you sleep at night. Number 13, you swim in the swimming pool. 
Number 14, you drive along the road. Number 15, you drink water. And that's it. Thank you so much. And please WhatsApp me if you have any questions. Thank you and see you again next time.